Janet. Get away from her. Janet. I'm the Janet said yes. Get Janet. Get away from my daughter-in-law. Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? It's Max here, back with another video. Now today, I'm gonna be doing the Thanksgiving loneliness prank. Now usually during this time of the year, it's festive, it's warm, people are with their families, but I'm gonna be acting as if a lot of bad things have happened in my life lately and I don't have a place to stay tonight. So I'm gonna be asking them if I can come home with them tonight. Let's see how giving people really are. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe the cops are gonna be called, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the reactions. Somebody sitting here? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I sit here really quick? Um, I'm just waiting on some people. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's it. How are you guys doing? Good. Good? Did you get your shopping done today? A little bit? Nice. Can I be honest with you guys? I, um, my parents left me when I was a kid. So every time, like, like I've just been on by myself. So like every time during Thanksgiving and the holidays, like I just feel nervous when I don't have people around me. So I come to the mall and stuff and just um, try to sit next to people and feel like I have some sort of family. Yeah, you guys don't mind, do you? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. You can't get rid of that loneliness feeling. I go to libraries and like uh, just, you know, anywhere where there's a lot of people where I can feel connected in some way. Uh, do you guys ever get that feeling? Hey, those are pretty sick shoes, man. Hey, from, hey North Shore Rag. North Shore Rag? Yeah. Yo. How are you? What do you do? Um, I used to work right now like I'm homeless. So I'm trying to find... <laughs> Yeah. What happened? You run into some Well, my family, like, uh, they left me. So I'm trying to, f to like, pick my feet back up again. Yeah, yeah. So especially, like, during this time of the year, Thanksgiving, yeah. um, like, I feel super lonely, you know? It's like nobody's around yeah. to help me out and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, like, I'm actually um, trying to get find a job right now. Yeah. Because um, I don't have a place to stay tonight. Yeah. Like, is there any way I can, like, go back with you guys? I just, will, I, just got, I just got like hella family over and shit now, so I will, bro. Can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. Do you know what like maybe slightly older women they like? Because that's who, I, who I'm who i buying it for, yeah. Um. Can I spray this on you? Do you mind? Let's see. That is really seductive. It's, wow. Um, I'm tempted to ask you out right now. It's like, um, <laughs> my life, like, um, I was actually brought up by, like, a cougar, but she actually just, like, let me go yesterday on Thanksgiving. So I'm pretty much on my own right now. I don't have a place to stay. Do, I'm do you have actually a... not from this area. Okay. I'm visiting family. I love family. Like, I can stay in their garage. Like, I can sleep in your car, anywhere. I don't, anywhere. I couldn't do that. Do you mind if I come home with you guys later? I don't have a place to stay tonight. Yeah, do you mind if I go go back home? I don't have a place to stay tonight. Oh, come to our house? Yeah, like I'm not gonna be a bother. I'll be, I'm super clean, just for one night, you know? I can sleep in the garage or something. It would mean a lot. Everyone said no today, and it's really cold out there. Do you think I can sleep in your car? Is that okay? In your car? Can I sleep in your car? Just in the like in the back seat anywhere? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Maybe like in the garage or something like. It's hot. I, I got a bunch of chameleons in the garage and shit. Chameleons? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm like in the wild, man. I can sleep but anywhere. Dude, it's, or like. It's a jungle, in my day. Like. Hey, best of luck to you, bro. Dude, that. like maybe in your car, the back seat or something. <laughs> That's my friend filming you guys over there. Yeah, the chameleons. Like, wait, what? So you got? You actually have chameleons? Yeah, I got, I got 16 chameleons. Dude, that's 
Okay. Yeah, I, do you have any maybe slightly older family members? No, I can. Um, no. You know what the answer is. What's the answer? God. God. Does he have? Does he have a basement? <laughs> you can help straighten all out the crazy, the crazy feelings that you have. Church is, has been a huge answer for me. Yeah. Okay. I would say what's more powerful than church, Janet, is you. Oh, whatever. You saved me. I think I need to go with you guys. No. You have shown the best um, <laughs> care for me. I just, I don't know, I feel attached now. So I, I just wait for you guys. I can just wait for you guys here. Yeah, well, let me uh, check on what my girls are doing now. Okay. So. There you guys are. Hi. Yeah, your mom said she'd take care of me tonight. Okay. Yeah, she said she would uh, just have to finish shopping. Okay. Hi. What's your problem? Uh, I, I have a lot of problems actually yeah. right okay. now. Okay, well you need to leave my granddaughters alone. Oh, I'm sorry. You go, I wasn't... You go find those. I was, I was looking for where... Janet actually. You, Janet's my daughter-in-law. You need oh. to go. Did they tell you my problem right no, now? No, and I don't want to know your problem. I got Oops. enough problems. I have an older woman that used to be my woman well, and she left me on the street. I you was know just what? Sorry. You need to go to church. I just needed one place to stay tonight. Well, we have no place for you, so you need to go find somebody else. I see. Okay. No, Janet. Janet. Janet said yes. Janet. Away from my daughter-in-law. Gosh. I'm actually just kidding with you guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You make my heart because I have a very warm heart. I could tell. But in the same time, it's very dangerous to me to accept someone is so stranger. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like if you ask me twenty dollars, I might give it to you for dinner. But how can I let you stay in my car? <laughs> I'm out of college already. Yeah, yeah. But do you mind if we use it on YouTube? Oh my! But you actually, I'm gonna tell you the truth now. Okay, that's um, we're actually doing a prank. We're doing a prank on you guys. My friend is. Over. I'm so sorry, mom. It's we're, all right. You're our third victim. I'm so sorry, Jay. <laughs> I was like, we're, what in we're, the I'm pretending world? You are just about to get your butt <laughs> I saw that. You messed with my granddaughter. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we want to test people's patience today. Well, you I know what? Like, oh my God. And if you mess with my children or my grandchildren, I have no patience with you. I respect that. I would love a grandma like that. Well, like, you, my you're God. messing with the wrong grandma. She's not mean. I'm the mean one. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was today's prank. I hope you guys enjoyed. Almost got the cops called by an old, by no, by a sassy grandma that was gonna whoop my ass. Please like and subscribe. More videos will be coming out. Please give me any feedback in the comment section below. What other ideas should we do? How can we uh, really test people's patience and do some social experiments? So until then, guys, see you till the next video. Bye. Some chicks fat ass in the way right now. <laughs> There's a lot of ass in this shot. Okay, good. Just go get in there. Get in there. <laughs>